I'm John Bilson, and Uncle Bob, thank you for putting me into tears before I have to come up and speak about my father. But I wanted to share a story about my father as a dad. He was my dad. Please, Father. <laughs> it was a cool spring afternoon, and I was eight or nine years old, and I was playing kickball on the playground of Our Lady of Refuge. And I hear my name being called. I see my father talking to a couple nuns up in the distance, and they call me forward, and I was my father's son, so I thought perhaps I was in trouble. <laughs> and I reached them, and my father said, John, these kind, gracious nuns here have been gracious enough to let you help your grandmother move today. She's moving, and we need your help. So please thank the nuns for letting you leave for the rest of the afternoon. Sister Martha, thank you, Sister Bernadette. And we get out of the car, and I said, Dad, I didn't know Grandma was moving today. Said, well, Johnny, it's actually opening day, and we're going to Tiger Stadium. <laughs> I said, Dad, why didn't you just tell them we were going to the ball game? He said, Johnny, sometimes you've got to lie to the nuns. <laughs> I think Dr. Dietz can attest to that. So we go to the ball game, and now Billy never bought tickets. When he went to the game, he just had his press pass, and we'd go in the game, and he said, now, Johnny, the best seats are behind third base. So we'd get box seats, like, right behind third base. But then when the actual ticket holders would show up, they'd have to move us back. And then the next inning, those ticket holders would show up, and we'd move back. And then by the fifth inning, we finally had our final seats around 20 rows behind home base. And so the game ends. He said, Johnny, there's somebody you need to meet. We get in that little tiny elevator, go up to the press box. So now when you meet this guy, I want you to shake his hand firmly, look him in the eye and say, nice to meet you. So you walk in, Ernie, I'd like you to meet my son. Say hello to Mr. Hartwell. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hartwell. And he's like, here's what Ernie's going to do for you, Johnny. We're going to get you a little transistor radio. We're going to turn it to WJR every night, and Ernie's going to tell you what the Tigers are doing every day. And I'd go to sleep with that transistor radio under my pillow listening to the Tigers. I said, Johnny, you hungry? I said, yeah, Dad. I said, you ever been to Lafayette Coney Island? <laughs> now, he knew I hadn't been there, but he loved asking questions. <laughs> so we get to Lafayette Coney Island, and if you've ever been to Lafayette Coney Island, opening day after the Tiger game, there's a line around the block. But when you're with Billy, you just go to the front door, they seat you right away, you got three on two with heavy chili and onions, a couple milks, bag of chips. Then we went back to the station and we did the news and said, you hungry, Johnny? Want to get some dinner? I said, yeah. You ever been to the Lindell AC? Oh, mate, Dad, no, I, you know. <laughs> hey, remember that guy playing first base? Uh, yeah, yeah, Norm Cash. There's a good chance Norm will be there, Johnny. So we went to the Lindell AC, and nice to meet you, Mr. Butch Karras. One of the things I'll miss 
just call my dad every day in the summertime and talk about the tithe. And uh, I'm going to miss him. You know, in our final conversation this last year or so, he always wanted to know if I was happy. Are you happy, Johnny? Yeah, yeah. I'm happy. And I love you. Bill all gave us moments of happiness. And we all loved him. And we're all going to miss him. Have a pleasant and peaceful afternoon.